Today we are going to make egg crepe cannelloni with spinach and ricotta. We will start with a delicious red sauce and finish with a white bechamel sauce. Let's get started. For our red sauce we will need one baby carrot, half a stalk of celery, one small brown onion and 700 ml of passata tomato puree. We start peeling and cutting our celery. Our carrot. And finally our onion. Make sure you cut them all into tiny pieces. In a pan, add 40 ml of extra virgin olive oil. I use a toothpick to see if it bubbles for the right heat to toss in the, all the ingredients. We start frying until it becomes golden brown. Then we toss the tomato puree. We mix and we cover. And don't forget the pinch of salt. And we leave it to simmer on a low heat for 10 to 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. After that, I add approximately 100 ml of water so it doesn't dry up. Our next step is making the batter for the crepes, which we will need 8 whole eggs in a large bowl. We add the salt and we will mix vigorously. We add 240 ml of water. Mix. And 130 grams of sacked zero zero flour. Add the flour slowly as you mix so we do not get any lumps in the batter. You will come up with a nice milk-like texture. Let's check on our sauce and stir so it does not stick. We will start cooking our crepes by painting our nonstick saucepan with oil for our first crepe. Pour a scoop of batter and toss it quickly around the pan to even out. Leave it for 30 seconds to a minute till the top layer dries before turning on medium heat. Then another 30 seconds on the other side. Now our filling for the cannelloni, we need 80 grams of fresh baby spinach, 750 grams of ricotta, and 60 grams of parmigiano. I like to cut my baby spinach small as I don't boil it, but you can make that option if you prefer to boil it. Just make sure to drain all the water out.
Then we add our ricotta and we mix it well. We add the parmigiano and salt if needed depending on how salty the ricotta is. And we just mix it well. We can start on filling our wonderful cannelloni, first with a splash of sauce. And then our ricotta filling with spinach. And we roll them up. Make sure to fill your tray with a first layer of sauce before adding your cannelloni. And then continue rolling up the rest. Once our tray is full, cover with our delicious red sauce and we will let it sit while we make our white bechamel sauce. We will need 40 ml of extra virgin olive oil, 50 grams of 00 flour and 500 ml of milk. Last step, add your oil in a pan. Let it heat up a little and add the sacked flour. Stir and mix well. Lower the flame, then slowly add your milk and stir as you go. This way you will prevent the formation of any lumps. And don't forget to add salt to your taste. You will come up with a beautiful creamy texture and you will know it's ready when it starts to boil. Finally, we can top up our last layer with bechamel and parmigiano. Let's prepare the oven. And in the oven it goes. Let it bake for 15 minutes till it forms a crust or crisp surface. And voila, our beautiful cannelloni crepes are ready to eat. Just a small tip, try to let it rest for five minutes as they are easier to serve. And enjoy!